Peer pressure. It's something parents and teachers tell you is a terrible thing. Something that should be avoided at all costs. The same images ring in our heads every time somebody even mentions the words peer pressure. Drugs, alcohol, and of course the infamous scenario proposed by adults worldwide. If your friends jumped off a cliff, would you jump off too? It's been ingrained in our head that peer pressure is always a bad thing. That you should always say no and stick to what you're comfortable with. It's what we were taught, but were we taught wrong? Is peer pressure really that bad? First, let's define the term peer pressure. According to the Oxford Languages Dictionary, it means influence from one's friend group. Looking at this definition, you can immediately see that peer pressure isn't inherently a bad thing. In fact, I would argue the complete opposite, that peer pressure is most commonly a good thing. Let's take this for example. This is Circle Man. Circle Man is scared. Scared of riding his bike. Seems like a simple fear, right? However, all his friends are all able to ride their own bikes, and they all talk about riding their bikes in front of Circle Man. He begins to feel a bit left out because he himself can't ride his own bike. But because of that, Circle Man decides he wants to learn how to ride his bike, even though he feels a bit uncomfortable. He tries and he tries and he falls down a bit, but eventually he figures out how to ride his bike and begins to love it. Pretty soon, he rides his bike every day for his own fun. And that's amazing. Because of peer pressure, he was able to try something new, something that he wouldn't have done before, which turned out to be something he loved. Because he was forced to take that risk, he ended up being able to enjoy himself. And that's my exact point. Sometimes you need to be pushed to try something new, to find something you'll eventually enjoy or look back upon with fond memories. I know personally many people who struggle with self-confidence, and according to a survey done in 2011, over 45% of students claim that they lack self-esteem. And as the age of the internet has taken a more and more prominent role in recent years, this percentage, this statistic, has most likely increased, showing a higher percentage of teens who lack self-confidence. Because of this, many people are more cautious of taking risks, and a result of that, teens need that external factor to push themselves outside of their comfort zone. They need to be pushed to try new things, and that's where peer pressure comes in. I myself personally owe many of my accomplishments to peer pressure. For example, during my freshman year, my friend and I climbed Mount Fuji. Now, personally, I don't know if you know this, but I'm not that athletic. I'm not particularly strong or fast. So, when my friend said he was going to do it, was going to climb the highest peak in Japan, I don't know what I was thinking when I said, oh, I'll do it with you. When I told him I'd do it with him, they, they came around and I can't lie, I was scared out of my mind. I didn't know what was awaiting me. I, I didn't know if I had the energy or the strength to do something like this. It was a new experience and I wasn't comfortable at all. But somehow, I did it. So, how did I do it? How, what pushed me to find the willpower to climb a 3,700 meter volcano? See, what I did in my head as we were approaching Mount Fuji is that I made a mental agreement with myself. I knew if I gave up halfway and my friend kept on going, I would look like an absolute idiot. <laughs> It'd be an embarrassment. I would never hear the end of it. So. I told myself that no matter how tired I got, I would keep going, as long as my friend kept going. And yes, I did begin to feel tired, but this sense of motivation kept me going. Even through the blistering cold during the night and the hot scorching sun during the day, I kept going. Why? It was all thanks to peer pressure. In my head, I didn't want to give up. At least, I didn't want to face the consequences of giving up. The fear of judgment from my friend kept me going, and I was able to go farther than I ever thought I could. There was something powering my each and every step, and after hours of climbing over rocks and hiking the trails in the cold, we were greeted with this beauty of a sunrise. I had made it. I had successfully climbed Mount Fuji. And now looking back at the definition of peer pressure at hand, it becomes clear, it becomes clear in my eyes that peer pressure allowed me to power through and do something I thought I'd never be able to do. Something that I'm still proud of to this day. 
Looking back on this monumental event in my life, it becomes clear in my eyes that peer pressure can be a good thing. I'm not saying it always is. I, in fact, I'm sure we've all faced a little negative peer pressure in our lives. But the good outweighs the bad. The things we achieve in life, especially when we're younger, are almost always due to an external factor, like peer pressure. We always are looking for validation from society. And according to a study called the Objective Leader Assessment, over 55% of people feel that their self-worth are tied to the people around them. People are more self-conscious than ever in the age of social media. And because of this increased sense of self-consciousness, people are more afraid of taking risks. The fear of taking risks hinders our ability of personal growth. And in order to truly grow as a person, we have to experience new things. A group of German researchers who surveyed over 20,000 people found that those who took risks were more often to be more content with their lives. According to the APA, or the American Psychological Association, peer pressure is the primary pusher of risk-taking in adolescence. In other words, peer pressure indirectly causes people to be more content with their lives. Well, some may say peer pressure can also cause people to make bad decisions. It just matters who you surround yourself with, who you choose to be influenced from. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, it's your decision. You don't, have to go, you don't have to follow where others go. However, if you surround yourself with the right people at the right time, there's bound to be endless possibilities created by peer pressure. It's up to you. You decide how you want to utilize it. I'm not peer pressuring you to do anything. But if there's one thing I want all of you to come out knowing by the end of the day, by the end of this talk, it's this. The people you surround yourself with today will ultimately make you into the person you are in the future. Thank you.